We're going to be palpating the muscle rectus femoris. Rectus femoris is one of the four quadriceps of the anterior thigh. It's going to be having an origin, two origins actually on the ilium up in this area. And then obviously it's going to be going all the way down to the tibia as a part of the quadriceps group. We're going to be starting off by finding its origin. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is looking for the anterior superior iliac spine, the ASIS. However, rectus femoris is going to be originating just a little bit below that on the anterior inferior iliac spine. Now there's two muscles in very close proximity to the origin of rectus femoris. So I'm actually going to be utilizing both of them to help me identify where rec fem originates. Slightly more medial to it, off the ASIS running this direction is sartorius, and slightly more lateral to it, heading off the iliac crest, is going to be the muscle known as tensor fascia lata. So what I'm going to ask her to do right now, I'm going to have my fingers on ASIS and go just a little bit inferior than that, is I'm going to have her roll her leg out towards me doing lateral rotation, which will fire off sartorius here, I'm going to leave my finger, and then I'm going to have her roll her leg in into medial rotation, which is going to be firing off the muscle tensor fascia lata. So my finger is currently in between TFL and sartorius, just a little bit below the ASIS, and for some people they like to use a three finger roll. One finger is on ASIS, one finger in the notch, and one finger below that on the anterior inferior iliac spine. Now, I believe I found a nice little ropey band underneath this, which should be the tendon of rectus femoris. So what I'm gonna ask my partner to do, instead of activating rec fem at the AF joint, I'm gonna ask her to lock her knee, engage the quadriceps, perfect and that tendon has tightened up a little bit. Hand relax for me. So what that's gonna do is not fire off tensor fascia lata or sartorius, but it will create tension through rec fem. This is one of the two attachments and probably more the primary, again, the anterior inferior iliac spine, but it does have a second non-palpable head called the reflected head, which is off the brim of the acetabulum. As we go for the palpation of the muscle belly, what I'm going to ask my partner to do is lift her leg up in the air, including the foot off the table, and hold it in this area for a moment. What you're going to be able to do is rec fem is flexing the AF joint, but it's also helping hold the knee in some extension, which is stopping the foot from dropping to the table. And I can then grab the muscle tissue that's sticking up on the top of the thigh and follow it down towards the patella. If I was to ask her to drop her leg and just lock her knee, what's gonna happen is it's gonna fire off all of the quadriceps, which is gonna make it a little bit challenging to feel the difference between vastus lateralis, medialis, and rec fem. So again, if I hold the leg up in deflection and not in a full contracted position, it makes it easier to feel rectus femoris and you can get a better sense of where it's starting to end. We're gonna bring her leg down. So the muscle belly is starting to end around here, and then it turns into quadriceps tendon, which is going into the base of the patella. And then depending on your reference, ultimately it's gonna go into the tibial tuberosity of the tibia via either the quadriceps tendon continuing or the patellar ligament, like I said, depending on your reference source. So we have both origin and insertion of rectus femoris. And again, one more time, it's doing flexion of the acetabulofemoral joint while it helps extend the knee joint.